So now I am going to explain you how to calculate the percentage release from the tablet. Once you have your data of absorbance uh, from all six tablets, you are going to record it here as a table. Tablet number one, absorbance is 0.604. Tablet number two, absorbance was 0.688. Tablet number three, this is so likewise all tablet and you have absorbance data. Now uh, you need to convert this absorbance into concentration. Okay. Uh, so how to do this? Uh, you need for this uh, purpose you need you know uh, calibration curve. Okay, and actually if you make calibration curve, so what is the main purpose that to get this uh, linear equation? This is linear linear equation. Once you have linear equation, so uh, here you are going to put your absorbance. This phi is the absorbance of your unknown sample absorbance of your unknown sample m is slope of this linear curve x is what you need it is concentration whatever you get you will put it here as the answer c is the intercept of the slope so once you have this equation ready with you so you can put your absorbance of this absorbance, this is 0 0.604, put it here as absorbance, you will get x values. x, you know, you will calculate like this. Uh, in our case, you know, we didn't prepare a calibration plot because it is lengthy method. So we prepare just one standard and you know that the stock solution was 100 ppm and I directed it 100 times to make it 1 ppm. So the absorbance of 1 ppm standard solution is ready with me. It is 0.214, okay, and the concentration is 1 ppm or 1 microgram per ml. So this formula, concentration of a standard divided by absorbance of standard is equal to concentration of test divided by absorbance of test. This formula you can apply. So just in this formula, I put all the values, okay. Here the absorbance of test number one, tablet number one was 0.604. I put it here. And then I calculated the concentration of the first tablet C1. So C1 by this way it comes out 2.82 microgram per ml. Okay, so it means that uh, this absorbance means 0. Uh, 2.82 microgram per ml. Okay, now you need to convert this concentration into the amount released. How much how much amount from this tablet number one was released? So to do this, you know, you need some calculation. So this is microgram per ml. And uh, for example, if you have one media here, and it is two, two, total media is two ml here. Okay, and this is concentration for one ml. So for two ml, what is what is the concentration? Two point eight two multiplied by two. Okay, because this concentration is per ml. So for 2 ml multiply by 2. Similarly for 900 ml because the media in the tablet resolution we take 900 uh, ml. So you are going to multiply by 900 ml, 900 uh, you know, number. So 2.82 this you know concentration per ml multiply by 900. Then you also multiply by dilution factor. If there is any dilution you have done before, so you, you multiply by this number also. So I. I diluted 100 times before I measure the sample. I take sample from the dilution class, I diluted 100 times. So I multiply by 100 here, okay? Then I divide by 1000 just to make it milligram because it was in microgram until now. Divide by 1000 to make it milligram. After you, uh, you know, do this calculation, you will get this result. This is the 254 milligram the amount released from tablet number one. Now finally you are going to calculate percent release. So percent release is the amount release divided by amount you put in the beginning. So every tablet was 500 milligram. So the, you are going to put 500 milligram here. Okay. So amount release divided by amount you added in the beginning multiply by 100. This will give you percentage. So it is approximately 50 percent. Similarly you are going to do for all tablet. Then once you have your result here, so you are going to see that which tablet is passing the result 
and which one is failing. If in your, for, for example, in this case, turbulent number one is not passing. It must be 80% minimum uh, release in half hour, but it is less than that. Okay, so uh, you say that you know, uh, tablet distribution was not uh, good, and uh, maybe tablet quality is not good, or maybe some problem in the distribution itself. Temperature is not working, or the MIGI was not good. Anything can be there. So anyway, this is the procedure how to calculate. You know, once all the tablet is having good release, so all of these tablet has more than 80%. So you can say tablet is good quality and distribution is good.